Russia threatens Africans to force them into war against Ukraine. Russia is threatening migrants and foreign students with deportation if they do not agree to go to war against Ukraine, reports Bloomberg. According to officials familiar with the situation, using a tactic first employed by the Wagner Group, Russian officials have increasingly begun threatening not to renew visas for African students and young workers unless they agree to join the army. Moscow is also recruiting convicts from its prisons as some Africans with work visas in Russia have been detained and forced to decide between deportation or fighting. One anonymous official told the media that Russia's practice of sending migrants and students into combat under pressure dates back to the beginning of the war. These troops are suffering particularly high casualty rates as they are increasingly deployed in risky offensive maneuvers to protect more trained units. Africans are not the first foreigners used by the Kremlin to conduct military operations in Ukraine. Russians tried to recruit Serbs and Ukrainians living in the occupied territories. Before that, the National Resistance Center reported that Russia had recruited tens of thousands of mercenaries from Africa and Asia for the war in Ukraine. Russians were also bringing mercenaries from Cuba and Nepal to the occupied territory. However, mercenaries from Nepal began to desert the Russian army. In its African strategy, the Kremlin is motivated foremost by a desire to thwart U.S. policy objectives, almost irrespective of their substance. Considering Africa one of Russia's foreign policy priorities, Russian President Vladimir Putin also seeks to create African dependencies on Moscow's military assets and access African resources targeting countries that have fragile governments but are often rich in important raw materials such as oil, gold, diamonds, uranium and manganese. Russian private security companies such as the Wagner Group purport to redress complex local military and terrorism conflicts with which African governments have struggled. They also offer to these governments the ability to conduct counterinsurgency and counterterrorism operations unconstrained by human rights responsibilities, unlike the United States allowing African governments to be as brutish in their military efforts as they like. In turn, Russia seeks payment in concessions for natural resources, substantial commercial contracts or access to strategic locations such as air bases or ports. A bombed and wounded city, Sumy of Ukraine is preparing for another attack of Russia. Sumy is expecting new attacks from the Russian occupiers. Residents of the regional center fought back against Russian troops in 2022 and now they are being warned about another offensive. This is stated in the material of the New York Times. The publication recalls the events of 2022 when Sumy was subjected to crushing blows from the aggressor. Now, Ukrainian officials are increasingly warning that the city is the target of a new offensive by Russian troops massing along the border. The mood is very alarming. People read the news, people read telegram channels, and they cannot ignore the news about a possible attack on Sumy, says 38-year-old Captain Dmitry Lantushenko, spokesman for the 117th Territorial Defense Brigade stationed in Sumy. He notes that closer to the border, villages and towns are already being shelled daily and guided bombs, missiles and drones are hitting factories and power plants in the industrial region of Sumy. At the same time, the regional center, like most of Ukraine, lives in conditions of power outage. Momentum shifted in favor of Russian troops who invaded. Ukraine failed to get far in a counteroffensive in the summer of 2023 and was short of troops and ammunition as American support was delayed by hardliners in Congress. The media stated, Sumy and the region have been shelled more times in the first five months of 2024 than during all of last year, yet some villages on the Russian border still stand. There's also the simple matter of geography. Sumy Oblast borders Russia and, just like Kharkiv to the southeast, is in range of far more of Russia's weapons systems than cities such as Kyiv in more central areas that can only be hit by missiles and drones. In the summer of last year, after Ukrainian forces liberated Sumy Oblast following a short-lived Russian occupation, a five-kilometer exclusion zone along the border was established. This is now clearly inadequate to protect Ukrainians from indiscriminate Russian attacks.